All the traffic. All the traffic. Action, Stephen. Action. Get them down. The Vietnam War has been the subject of numerous motion pictures. In the past few years, reports have come to light that there may be live American POWs still being held in camps in Southeast Asia. This is the subject of a new major motion picture starring Sylvester Stallone, Rambo, First Blood 2. In this sequel to the hit film First Blood, John Rambo returns to Vietnam on a special mission. A covert operation's being geared up in the Far East. Your name was dug out by the computer as one of three most able to complete the mission. To create that character, Stallone, his cast and crew, embarked on one of the most physically demanding war films ever undertaken. Rambo is kind of a super soldier, but it, more than him being just a man, he represents the entire fighting force. He's kind of a character that's bigger than life. Making this exciting action adventure took the filmmakers not to Southeast Asia, but to the untamed jungles of Mexico, where director George Cosmatos set out to create an air of realism. We've been through every realistic thing in the world, like mud and mosquitoes and heat and humidity. Working long days under the unmerciful tropical sun, the mercury often climbed over 120 degrees. Added to the heat are the difficulties of filming fight scenes that are not on solid ground. Floating along with the actors and props are the cameras and crew, makeup for the stars and extras, as well as the special effects team. Action! For female co-star Julie Nixon, the difficulties in shooting this scene have nothing to do with her character or the action. There's lots to contend with. The heat, uh, the long hours, the mosquitoes. The constant uh, snakes, like yesterday, uh, I mean, I must have caught three snakes. Uh, you get tarantulas, in the middle of a scene, you see a scorpion going up your leg, and you say, wait a minute, do you have an actor's guild card, or, I mean, are you a... <laughs> I think the worst thing is having three people spray me with water constantly, all day long. I have one person who sprays my face, one person who sprays my hair, one person who, who wets my clothes. The task for the filmmakers was to create action scenes the likes of which no audience has ever seen.
In addition to starring, Stallone also wrote the script for Rambo. His insistence that the picture be packed with action has put unparalleled physical demands on his endurance. Co-star Richard Crenna. I think the man is nuts because he's given himself things to do in this picture that nobody should ask of themselves. And, uh, and he does them. It was about eight months of uh, training, four hours a day, toughing myself up. Uh, the SWAT combat courses, the archery courses, the uh, survivalist courses. Straight out? Or with, well, it's, it's... The technical advisors on this show, the men that have actually been through the tours of duty, keep me honest, and keep the story honest. Because the character of Rambo is a weapons expert, Stallone had to become proficient with a bow and arrow. Stunt coordinator, Diamond Farnsworth. When we first started the show, he called me over to show me how good he was with it. And I just thought, well, let's see what he can do. And he was damn good. Yeah! Dead center, how about it? In the movie, we take shots as far away as 185, 190 feet. Um, and he got lucky on a couple of them. Some scenes are so complex, they just have to be right the first time. When Rambo destroys a command center, there'll be no chance for a second take. The gun Stallone carries is only firing blanks. Small explosive charges were wired into the set and were controlled by a special effects expert, Tom Fisher. It took about three or four hours to set it up, maybe 200 bullet hits. We have to hide all the wires, try and save some of the machines and just and make sure that we don't hurt anybody. that is that hard to coordinate the exploding the firing the shooting the acting the atmosphere everything and it all comes together in one fluid movement is well just about the ultimate high perhaps the greatest challenge the film crew faced was staging the destruction of an enemy camp by helicopter gunships tons of sophisticated explosives were flown in from the US and highly trained experts rigged the huts with pails of gasoline and primer cord a rope-like explosive that will blow up at 27,000 feet per second. Because safety is the primary concern, meticulous precautions are taken. I always ask them how safe the camera should be. With the special effects man tells me how far away the camera should be, and then I add another extra to be in the safety region. But nowhere is safety more important than in the air. Helicopter pilot Ross Young. The big gas balls will go up, and we'll have to wait until they have lifted it enough, and we'll come in underneath all of it. Anyone that has no business down here, I'll take this. I mean, anyone that has no business, no spectators. There's always an element of danger, no matter what you're doing, but we minimize it. I didn't get to be this old by being brave. No. Effects are incredible. I mean, I have never seen effects like this. It was much bigger than I thought it would be, you know, the logistics and the problems involved. I thought the first one was difficult, but the first one was uh, almost Alice in Wonderland compared to this place. Ah! 